I really need to hit the pause button, guys. I really think I should. I lost my voice. Yet again, I got tired. Maybe I wasn't resting well enough. Healing from breakdowns or burnouts or basically from anything is an up and down process. I realize one day you think you're okay, your energy is back, but turns out it's only just in that moment and you're down again. I was like a flame. I had so much fire and passion in me, but it drifted away. I got swallowed in the numbers game and whether or not I should do this or I should be that. In short, I had to face the harsh realities of what I'm passionate about. I get asked a lot about why I'm not getting much views or why am I not getting this much subscribers? It's either they would say you're doing it wrong or you've got such great content Jenny but you're not getting that much reach to your audience. People will say a lot of things, people will criticize, people will try to teach you, share wisdom, so on and so forth. But what really triggers me the most though, I know, don't take it personally, don't take it personally, you know, it's fair gross, blah blah. But really, what triggers me personally because I work so freaking hard. And it feels just, you know, invalidating to hear the former, which is you're not doing enough or you're not doing it right. I may be not doing it right in some way, but I am doing my very best and working so hard on just everything. And it, you know, that triggers me. You know when you work so hard, you give your all, you put everything that you have to put there, you courageously put yourself out there, you even do that, but it just doesn't seem to be enough. Why? Why can't we all just support? each other why don't we support someone out there who is genuinely making his or her mark to create something that could possibly save or inspire someone i kept moving <laughs> just to you know not lose your attention but anyways, going back to the topic, it felt like I was locked inside a closet instead of going out. I cannot be happy if I don't live and speak my truth. And most importantly, if it doesn't speak who I am. Because I can't fake it till you make it. I can't. I can't do that. Maybe I can try acting. No, I aspire to act but not in this not in this aspect or field rather my wings were clipped I went through obviously a burnout and a few breakdowns because I lost my confidence I lost my voice I just lost the energy the Confidence, the voice to speak up, the courage because of all those pressures. Okay, one thing that I'm trying to unlearn is to not give a f about other people's opinions, what they might say, or what they might think. It's the wound from my childhood when I grew up being bullied and being told I'm not enough because 
I look different and I just didn't fit in or didn't belong growing up. I guess that's the scar speaking, but you know I'm trying to unlearn that. We're all a work in progress. <laughs> Someone asked me, why would you break down like it's not a big deal? First of all, it's okay to have breakdowns. It's okay to not be okay. It's okay to cry and acknowledge all these emotions rather than run away from it and have that level, deep level of self-awareness. Second, it takes so much courage to speak up, especially when you're naturally a quiet person. <laughs> it's hard, it's challenging. So it takes a lot of courage to speak up and put yourself out there. Imagine you're, you still feel unheard even after doing that. How does that make you feel though? And third, it's mentally taxing. Did I say the word right? Is that the word? Stressful. <laughs> Having to maintain the consistency to upload, create videos, content, upload. Edit, upload, battle with algorithms, deal with social media pressures and numbers, pressures with numbers, all at the same time. And you're a one woman show. You do everything all by yourself and you deal all with those battles and pressures. Do you think that's easy? No. Being a vlogger, YouTuber is not easy, guys. <laughs> Smile on the daily. <laughs> but it's not easy. But I'm doing it anyway because it makes me happy and I'm passionate about it and I just wish every single one of you who watch my videos or come across the content I put out there see that I just you know, I just damn wish you see that <laughs> believe me I wanted to quit I never felt so alone in my entire life and it sucks that what is making me feel this way is one of the things I love the most and I guess this is where the saying goes that your strength can also be your weakness but let's make that upside down it's my towel over there sorry about the distracting background <laughs> When I get lost or when I get stuck, I keep reminding myself, why am I doing what I am doing? What's my why? Oftentimes you get lost, no? Because of the pressures, but you know, it's okay to acknowledge the emotions, what we're going through, but we need to pick ourselves up and remember our why. I'm doing this because it should be for me and for the audience, like I said, who I could possibly save and who I'm inspiring. I want to be remembered as the creator or the woman who left that kind of mark. Someone who creates something with substance. More importantly, I am doing this because it makes me happy and I'm passionate about it. Okay, so now we're settled. Why are you quitting, Jenny? No, I'm not quitting. I don't owe anyone an explanation. I don't have to explain myself. I know, but just as a part of the message that I put out there being true to myself, speaking and living my truth, I want you to know what I am going through and sharing my wisdom also. At the same time, if this helps or if this resonates with you or it brings you comfort in some way, then that's why I'm making this video. I feel like I'm a dry sponge or a fried or dry brain. I just cannot squeeze creative juice that much anymore. So yeah, um, wow, that was a deep sigh. <laughs> I'm not quitting, I'm just hitting the pause button. Okay, I will slowly get back on track, but just wanna create and deliver things 
wholeheartedly to everyone who has been so supportive since day one and watched my videos and listened to my words of wisdom. Thank you so so much from the bottom of my heart, hypothalamus, <laughs> my whole heart. Thank you, really. I am truly grateful and I hope you continue to support and show some love. I will slowly set my wings to fly again. My bestie soul sister, Mavic, she dreamt last month of me accepting an award for best influencer thing, something. The moment she shared about that, I cried. I literally cried. She manifested it for me. <laughs> And I will manifest it for myself. I will believe in myself. I will not let the pressures and opinions or possible thoughts from other people get in the way. I'll leave you with my usual reminder. Be brave. Be different.